The apothecary's system of weights is a historical system of mass units that were used by physicians and apothecaries for medical recipes, and also sometimes by scientists. The English version of the system is closely related with the English Troy system of weights, the pound and grain being exactly the same in both. It divides a pound into 12 ounces, an ounce into 8 drams, and a dram into 3 scruples or 60 grains. This exact form of the system was used in the United Kingdom, in some of its former colonies it survived well into the 20th century. The apothecary's system of measures is a similar system of volume units based on the fluid ounce. For a long time, medical recipes were written in Latin, often using special symbols to denote weights and measures. The use of different measure and weight systems depending on the purpose was an almost universal phenomenon in Europe between the decline of the Roman Empire and metrication. This was connected with international commerce especially with the need to use the standards of the target market and to compensate for a common weighing practice that caused a difference between actual and nominal weight. In the 19th century, most European countries or cities still had at least a commercial or civil system for general trading and a second system for precious metals such as gold and silver. The system for precious metals was usually divided in a different way from the commercial system, often using special units such as the carrot. More significantly, it was often based on different weight standards. The apothecary system often used the same ounces as the precious metals system, although even then the number of ounces in a pound could be different. The apothecary's pound was divided into its own special units, which were inherited from the general purpose weight system of the Romans, where the apothecary's weight and the normal commercial weights were different. It was not always clear which of the two systems was used in trade between merchants and apothecaries, or by which system apothecaries weighed medicine when they actually sold it. English-speaking countries the traditional English apothecary system of weights is as shown in the table, the pound, ounce and grain being identical to the troy pound, ounce and grain. In the United Kingdom, a reform in 1824 made the troy pound the primary weight unit, but this had no effect on apothecary's weights. However, the Medicinals Act of 1858 completely abolished the apothecary's system in favor of the standard avidapoise system. The confusing variety of definitions and conversions for pounds and ounces is covered elsewhere in a table of pound definitions. In the United States, the apothecary system remained official until it was abolished in 1971 in favor of the metric system. From the pound down to the scruple, the English apothecary's system was a subset of the Roman weight system except that the troy pound and its subdivisions were slightly heavier than the Roman pound and its subdivisions. Similar systems were used all over Europe but with considerable local variation described below and variants. The English-speaking countries also used a system of units of fluid measure, or in modern terminology volume units. Based on the apothecary's system, a volume of liquid that was approximately that of an apothecary's ounce of water was called a fluid ounce, and was divided into fluid drams and sometimes also fluid scruples. The analog of the grain was called a minim. The imperial and U.S. systems differ in the size of the basic unit, and in the number of fluid ounces per pint. Apothecaries' systems for volumes were internationally much less common than those for weights. Before introduction of the imperial units in the UK, all apothecaries measures were based on the wine gallon, which survived in the US under the name liquid gallon or wet gallon. The wine gallon was abolished in Britain in 1824, and this system was replaced by a new one based on the newly introduced imperial gallon. Since the imperial gallon is 20% more than the liquid gallon, the same is true for the imperial pint in relation to the liquid pint. 
This explains why the number of fluid ounces per gallon had to be adjusted in the new system so that the fluid ounce was not changed too much by the reform. Even so, the modern UK fluid ounce is 4% less than the US fluid ounce, and the same is true for the smaller units. For some years both systems were used concurrently in the UK. Apothecaries' measures eventually fell out of use in the UK and were officially abolished in 1971. In the US, they are still occasionally used, for example with prescribed medicine being sold in 4-ounce bottles. Medical Recipes until around 1900, medical recipes and most European pharmacopoeias were written in Latin. Here is a typical example from the middle of the 19th century. The use of Latin ensured that the recipes could be read by an international audience. There was a technical reason why three was written IIJ and one half as SS or SS. The letters SS are an abbreviation for the Latin semis, meaning half, which were sometimes written with a sharp S. In apothecaries Latin, numbers were generally written in Roman numerals, immediately following the symbol. Since only the units of the apothecaries system were used in this way, this made it clear that the civil weight system was not meant. Variants Diversity of local standards The basic form of the apothecary system is essentially a subset of the Roman weight system. An apothecary's pound normally consisted of 12 ounces. In the south of Europe and in France, the scruple was generally divided into 24 grains, so that one ounce consisted of 576 grains. Nevertheless, the subdivision of an ounce was somewhat more uniform than that of a pound, and a common feature of all variants is that 12 ounces are roughly 100 drams and a grain is roughly the weight of a physical grain. It is most convenient to compare the various local weight standards by the metric weights of their ounces. The actual mass of an ounce varied by plus or minus 17% around the typical value of 30 grams. The table only shows approximate values for the most important standards, even the same nominal standard could vary slightly between one city and its neighbor. The range from 25 grams to 31 grams is filled with numerous variants, especially the Italian range up to 28 grams. But there is a relatively large gap between the Troy ounces of 31 grams and the Habsburg ounce of 35 grams. The latter is the product of an 18th century weight reform. Even in Turkey a system of weights similar to the European apothecary system was used for the same purpose. For medical purposes the Cheki was divided in 100 drams and the dram in 64 grains. This is close to the classical Greek weight system, where Amina was also divided into 100 drams. With the beginning of metrication, some countries standardized their apothecaries pound to an easily remembered multiple of the French gram. E.g., in the Netherlands the Dutch Troy pound of 369.1 grams was standardized in 1820 to 375.000 grams to match a similar reform in France. The British Troy Pound retained its value of 373.202 grams until in 2000 it was legally defined in metric terms as 373.24172216 grams. Basic variants in the Romance-speaking part of Europe the scruple was divided in 24 grains, in the rest of Europe in 20 grains. Notable exceptions were Venus and Sicily, where the scruple was also divided in 20 grains. The Sicilian apothecary's ounce was divided in 10 drams. Since the scruple was divided in only 20 grains, like in the northern countries, an ounce consisted of 600 grains. This was not too different from the situation in most of the other Mediterranean countries, where an ounce consisted of 576 grains. In France, at some stage the apothecary's pound of 12 ounces was replaced by the larger civil pound of 16 ounces. The subdivisions of the apothecary's ounce were the same as in the other Romance countries, however, and were different from the subdivisions of the otherwise identical civil ounce. Origins 
Roman weight system The basic apothecary system consists of the units pound, ounce and scruple from the classical Roman weight system, together with the originally Greek dram and a new subdivision of the scruple into either 20 or 24 grains. In some countries other units of the original system remained in use, for example in Spain the abolo and siliqua. In some cases the apothecaries and civil weight systems had the same ounces, but the civil pound consisted of 16 ounces. Siliqua is Latin for the seed of the carob tree. Many attempts were made to reconstruct the exact mass of the Roman pound. One method for doing this consists in weighing old coins, another uses the fact that Roman weight units were derived from Roman units of length, similarly to the way the kilogram was originally derived from the meter, i.e., by weighing a known volume of water. Nowadays the Roman pound is often given as 327.45 grams. But one should keep in mind that the Roman weight standard is unlikely to have remained constant to such it precision over the centuries, and that the provinces often had somewhat inexact copies of the standard. The weight and subdivision of the pound in the Holy Roman Empire was reformed by Charlemagne, but in the Byzantine Empire it remained essentially the same. Since Byzantine coins circulated up to Scandinavia, the old Roman standard continued to be influential through the Middle Ages. Weight system of Salerno The history of medieval medicine started roughly around the year 1000 with the School of Medicine in Salerno, which combined elements of Latin, Greek, Arabic and Jewish medicine. Galen and Dioscorides were among the most important authorities, but also Arabic physicians, whose works were systematically translated into Latin. According to De Ponderibus A. Mensuris, a famous 13th-century text that exists in numerous variations and is often ascribed to Dino di Garbo. The system of weights used in Salerno was different from the systems used in Padua and Bologna, as can be seen from the table. It was also different from the Roman weight system used by Galenus and Dioscorides and from all modern apothecaries' systems. The ounce was divided into nine drams, rather than eight drams. Centuries later, the region around Salerno was the only exception to the rule that the apothecary's ounce was subdivided down to the scruple in exactly the same way, as in the Roman system, it divided the ounce into ten drams. Romance countries, while there will naturally have been some changes throughout the centuries, this section only tries to give a general overview over the situation that was recorded in detail in numerous 19th-century merchants' handbooks. Iberian Peninsula On the Iberian Peninsula, apothecaries' weights in the 19th century were relatively uniform, with 24 grains per scruple, the standard in Romance countries. The weight of an apothecary's pound was 345.1 grams in Spain and 344.2 grams in Portugal. As in Italy, some of the additional subdivisions of the Roman system, such as the obolo, were still in use there. It was standard to use the marco, defined as 8 ounces, instead of the pound. France In 18th century France, there was a national weight standard, the Marc de Paris of 8 ounces. The civil pound of 16 ounces was equivalent to 2 marks, and it was also used as the apothecary's pound, with 30.6 grams. The ounces were considerably heavier than other apothecary's ounces in Romance countries but otherwise the French system was not remarkable. Its history and connections to the English and Flemish standards are discussed below and are weight standards named after Troyes. Italy due in part to the political conditions in what would become a United Kingdom of Italy only in 1861. The variation of apothecaries' systems and standard weights in this region was enormous. The libra generally consisted of the standard 12 ounces, however, the civil weight systems were generally very similar to the apothecary's system, and since the libra generally had a suitable weight for an apothecary's pound it was often used for this purpose. 
Extreme cases were Roman Genoa, where the same system was used for everything, including medicine. On the other hand, there were relatively large differences even between two cities in the same state. E.g., Bologna had an apothecary's pound that was less than the local civil pound, and 4% lighter than the pound used in Rome. The weight of an apothecary's pound ranged generally between 300 grams and 320 grams, slightly less than that of a pound in the Roman Empire. An important exception to this rule is that the Kingdom of Lombardy Venetia was under rule of the Habsburg monarchy 1814-1859 and therefore had the extremely large Habsburg apothecary's pound of 420 grams. E.g., in the large city of Milan the apothecary's system based on a pound of 326.8 grams was officially replaced by the metric system as early as 1803, because Milan was part of the Napoleonic Italian Republic. Since the successor of this little state, the Napoleonic Kingdom of Italy, fell to Habsburg in 1814, an apothecary system was officially introduced again, but now based on the Habsburg apothecary's pound, which weighed almost 30% more. The apothecary's pound in Venice had exactly the same subdivisions as those in the non-Romance countries, but its total weight of 301 grams was at the bottom of the range. During the Habsburg reign of 1814-1859 an exception was made for Venice, as a result the extreme weights of 301 grams and 420 grams coexisted within one state and in immediate proximity. The Venice standard was also used elsewhere, for example in Udine. In Dubrovnik its use was partially continued for a long time in spite of the official Habsburg weight reform. The measure and weight systems for the large mainland part of the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies were unified in 1840. The area consisted of the southern half of the Italian peninsula and included Naples and Salerno. The subdivision of apothecary's weight in the unified system was essentially the same as that for gold, silver, coins and silk. It was the most eccentric variant in that the ounce was divided in 10 drams, rather than the usual 8. The scruple, like in Venice but unlike in the rest of the Romance region, was divided into 20 grains. The existence of a unit called Oreo, the equivalent of 1.5 dram, is interesting because 6 ore were 9 dram. In the original Salerno weight system an ounce was divided into 9 drams and so an Oreo would have been one-sixth of an ounce.